good afternoon children yesterday we successfully completed cycle test 5 and biology classification in this regard uh, we have to discuss the solutions need solution already answer key was posted in the respective whatsapp group check the paper then we are get the solution you see the first one striking the system of classification suggested by r h vitagar is not based on vitagar classification very deep based this is question number 1 this is relevant with the vitagar classification vitagar classification vitagar classification very deep depends cell structure body organization mode of nutrition reproduction phylogenetic relationship five characters here what are the structures here you see the criteria for classifying of organism into five kingdoms there is a cell structure body organization cell structure body organization third one mode of nutrition mode of nutrition reproduction phylogenetic relationship reproduction fifth one phylogenetic relationship phylogenetic relationship these are the five types cell structure body organization mode of nutrition reproduction phylogenetic relationship the five criteria have been considered by the vitagar to classify the organism so which one is not uh, considered you see presence or absence of well defined nucleus there is any nucleus information no nucleus mode of reproduction is option b is yes and here complexity complexity of body organization is mode of nutrition is mode of reproduction is the what the actions are given nutrition action is given reproduction action is given body organization is given but here this uh, cell structure not given in place of cell structure what was given nucleus information so what was not uh, the criteria according to this vita had nucleus information so here what is this presence or absence of well defined nucleus it is not a criteria for classifying organism so what are the criteria these are the five criteria so according to this given question what would be the answer question number 1 1 is the answer which of the following criteria is not considered by vitagar presence or absence of nucleus well defined nucleus it is not a criteria what are the criteria these are the five criteria so answer one is question number 1 what is the answer one is the answer and now you see question number 2 Question number one. One is the answer. Question number two. What is the question number two? You see, RT bacteria differ from U bacteria. Here, how the what is the difference between U bacteria and RT bacteria? There is a you see cell membrane structure. Complex cell membrane structure occurs in RT bacteria. Cell membrane it has the lipids and protein. They can be arranged in a complex organization in. rt bacteria therefore they can survive in extreme environment you see this here mode of nutrition is there any different nutrition is rt bacteria u bacteria same some are uh, photo autotrophs chemo autotrophs next one here heterotrophs photo heterotrophs chemo heterotrophs like this here different types of nutrition is there in rt bacteria and u bacteria there is no difference in case of nutrition for cell shape it is also various shape reproduction it is also asexual sexual is there so what is this here the major difference between rt bacteria and u bacteria the major difference is the cell membrane structure so question number 2 what is this to one is the answer question number 2 cell membrane structure which of the following should coiled or in a strand and capsomeres coiled or in a strand and capsomere where it will be there tobacco mosaic virus you see this here this is a tobacco mosaic virus in this virus what type of rna is there coiled rna is there this coiled rna it can be covered by the capsid yet each capsid consists of several sub units those are called as the capsomeres here what are these here this is total how this is called here capsid the protein part of 
virus is called as the capsid. The subunits in the capsid called as the capsomeres. So therefore, what would be there? This is the capsid and capsomere. This is the RNA. So helically arranged RNA occurs in which virus? Tobacco mosaic virus. So what the actions are given here? The question number three: Following shows point RNA strand. Here poliovirus, TMB, measles virus, retrovirus. What is the answer? TMB is the coiled RNA. So answer second question number three. Second action TMB is the correct one. And next one you see virus is a question number four. What is this question number four? This is asking the question about viruses. What are viruses here? They are obligate viruses. They consist of two proteins, two parts. What are those here? Nucleic acid and protein, nucleoproteins. Viruses are the nucleoproteins. But here, one nucleic acid is there, next to protein capsid will be there. But what kind of nucleic acid? Anyone, either DNA or RNA. Suppose you see one nucleic acid surrounded by the protein, it can be called as the virus. What is the virus here? This is nucleic acid. But here, what type of nucleic acid? Anyone, either DNA or RNA. Some virus having, suppose plant viruses, they have RNA. Animal viruses, they may have DNA or RNA. Both could not be occurs. So you see, what it is here, there is a nucleic acid and protein part. These two components are there. How this here? Viruses are the nucleoproteins. Nucleoprotein means here, one nucleic acid component. In this nucleic acid, what should be there? Both could not be occurs. In the same virus, RNA, DNA never occurs. What would be there? Anyone. Either DNA or RNA. Anyone nucleic acid, this nucleic acid surrounded by the protein coat. That protein coat of it will be called capsid. The protein coat of virus, how it will be called here? Yes, it can be called as the capsid. Protein part of virus is called as the capsid. This nucleic acid, either DNA or RNA. Anyone, not here both. Either RNA or DNA. So according to these actions, you see, question number four, DNA enclosed in a protein coat. Prokaryotic nucleus. There is no prokaryotic nucleus. Prokaryotic nucleus, where it is present? Bacteria. Prokaryotic nucleus occurs in the bacteria, cyanobacteria. Monirans, simply here in biological classification, monirans, you know that. What are the monirans here? Bacteria, archaebacteria, cyanobacteria, mycoplasma comes under this monirans. Monirans have this, what type of nucleus here? There is a prokaryotic nucleus. What do you mean by prokaryotic nucleus? Naked DNA. The organism which have a naked DNA, they can be called as the prokaryotes. So that here, prokaryotic nucleus is not relevant with the virus. Single chromosome. Here, single chromosome also relevant with bacteria. Both the DNA and RNA. Never occurs DNA RNA. So which option is correct? Option 1, DNA enclosed in a protein group. This is a DNA or RNA. DNA enclosed in a protein coat, how it will be called? Virus. But which action it will be there? Action 1 is correct. Question number 4, action 1 correct. What is the action 1? DNA enclosed by a protein coat is called as the virus. So the question number 4 is the answer is the one answer. And next one you see, question number 5. Question number five. Pigment containing membrane is extension in some cyanobacteria. Generally, you know that here cyanobacteria. Question number five, cyanobacteria. Here plants. You see this here plants. Here, what is the major similarity between cyanobacteria and plants? Cyanobacteria, they are autotrophs. They are the autotrophs. Plants also autotrophs. This is also autotrophs. Why they are autotrophs? These uh, cyanobacteria, chlorophylls are the major cause for uh, autotrophic. Autotrophism means they can synthesize their own food. The organism which are synthesizing their own food, those can be called as the autotrophs. So here, the cyanobacteria, what is this here? Autotroph. Why this is autotroph? Chlorophyll is there. In the presence of chlorophyll, it can capture the radiant energy from sun. That radiant energy converted into chemical energy. 
chemical energy used for preparation of food what is that food glucose starch first glucose is prepared glucose is polymerized into starch so that what is this here cyanobacteria these are the autotrophs so that they can synthesize their own food due to the presence of chlorophyll and now you see plants plants are autotrophs what would be present in plants chlorophyll our question where does chlorophyll occur in the plants where does chlorophyll occur suppose it is a plant cell here there is a chloroplast in the chloroplast there is a granar is there here in the granar what would be present chlorophyll surface there so where does chlorophyll occur in plants chloroplast but in case of prokaryotes cyanobacteria are it is also called as the autotrophic prokaryotes how they can be called here autotrophic prokaryotes the cyanobacteria these are the autotrophic prokaryotes this is autotroph plant is autotroph bacteria cyanobacteria is autotroph they can synthesize one food these also can synthesize one food here chlorophylls are there here chlorophylls are there here chlorophylls present in in eukaryotic autotrophs these plants how they can be called eukaryotic autotrophs plants can be how they can be called here they are the eukaryotic autotrophs those are the eukaryotic autotrophs so in eukaryotic autotrophs chlorophyll where it is present here in the grana but here the grana means grana is present in chloroplast but in case of this here prokaryotic autotrophs chlorophyll where they are present is there any chloroplast double membrane cell organelles absent in the prokaryotic autotrophs double membrane cell organelle chloroplast is double membrane cell organelle therefore no scope to have this here chloroplast but where they are present there is a extensions here it is a bacterial cell this is a membrane from this some extensions are formed like a mesosome suppose it is a mesosome like a mesosome here is also from membrane some extensions are formed these extensions how they can be called chromatophores the extensions form from the plasma membrane of autotrophic bacteria called as chromatophores in these chromatophores what are present chlorophylls are present so here what is this here in uh, autotrophic eukaryotic organism chlorophylls present in chloroplast in autotrophic prokaryotic organism chlorophylls present in chromatophores in autotrophic prokaryotic organism chlorophylls present in the chromatophores in autotrophic eukaryotic organism chlorophylls present in the chloroplast so here you see what is this question number 5 pigments containing membrane extension in some cyanobacteria but where they are present membrane extensions they can be called basal body nematophores chromatophores etc how it will be called chromatophores question number 5 chromatophore which action it is the third action so 5 is the 3 is answer Question number six: Which statement wrong for viruses? They have ability to synthesize nucleic acid and proteins. It is correct statement. Of, yeah, this is relevant with viruses. There yeah, was statement we need here. Correct statement. Of, incorrect statement. Of, wrong statement. Relevant with the viruses here. Yeah. We can select a wrong statement. Viruses can able to synthesize nucleic acid and protein. Correct or yes? Without here, yeah, what is the virus? What I am telling? Really? nucleic acid and protein full parts are there they able to synthesize nucleic acid and protein as yes. option 1 correct wrong but option 2 you see antibiotics have not effect on them correct or antibiotics can kill this here virus here they have antibiotics have no effect on them as yes. antibiotics works on bacteria only antibiotics could not work on virus they have no effect on them so it is what is this second statement is also correct statement there is no effect of antibiotics and virus so that viral uh, whatever the infections caused by virus is here by using antibiotics there is no uh, use and here question number 3 all are parasites what are the virus all are obligate parasites all viruses are the what will be their parasites only question number 4 what is sir question number 4 all of them have helical symmetry here all of 
So here six uh, variable with their option one four, option two five, option three six, option four three. So what we needed six organism. Six organisms variable with their option three. So answer question number eight. What is the answer? Three is the answer. Question number eight. Three answer. Next one. Question number nine. We go, we go for this year. Question number nine. Question number nine. What is the question number nine here? In the five kingdom class patient, Clamdomonas chlorella have been included. Clamdomonas chlorella. Clamdomonas and chlorella. Clamdomonas chlorella, they are included in which kingdom? Monera, Protista, Planta, Elimela. Which kingdom they come under? These are unicellular organisms. Clamdomonas and chlorella, what are these unicellular? Unicellular eukaryota, prokaryota, unicellular eukaryotes. These are the unicellular clandomonas and chlorella comes under unicellular eukaryotic organisms. But unicellular eukaryotes comes under which kingdom? Protista. These comes under the protista. In the given or the given organisms, clandomonas, chlorella, they are the unicellular eukaryotes. Unicellular eukaryotes comes under which kingdom? Protista. What are the actions they have given? Question number nine. First one, protista, second, algae, third, plantae, fourth, monera. So, what is the answer? We are protista is the answer. So, ninth one, which are still correct, one is the correct. Next, we will go for question number 10. What is the question number 10? Membrane bound organelles are absent in. Membrane bound organelles, where it is absent? Prokaryotes. Membrane bound organelle means Gaussian complex, endoplasmic reticulum, chloroplast, mitochondria. These are the membrane bound organelles. Generally, in prokaryotes, this is the difference between this question, question number 10. It was asked from where difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. What is the difference here? The question is given. Question number 10 is asking about difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Now you see eukaryotic cell. This is prokaryotic cell. In this prokaryotic cell, natural DNA is there. Only what type of ribosomes? Only ribosomes are there. These are the ribosomes. Prokaryotic cell, only one kind of cell organelle. What are those prokaryotes? Here, what would be their definite nucleus? DNA is surrounded by nucleus membrane. Next, what would be present here? You see this here cell organelles here. Here are mitochondria, is there, chloroplast is there, we are is there, body complex, several cell organelles are there. So that here, double membrane cell organelles present in eukaryotes. Only ribosomes are membraneless cell organelles present in prokaryotes. But which of the following organisms don't have this here uh, membrane bound cell organelle? So you find out prokaryote. Question number 10 membrane bound organelle absent in plasmodium, plasmodium prokaryota, eukaryota, eukaryote. This is a protista. And here, Saccharomyces yeast. So it is a protista. Third option, Streptomyces. Streptococcus. What is the Streptococcus? Streptococcus is a bacteria. So option 3, you see, what is this here? They have given instead of prokaryotes, they have given the streptococcus. Streptococcus comes under prokaryotes. Remaining all organisms, you see, is what is the organism? Plasmodium, Saccharomyces, Plantopunus. Here, Plasmodium is given and Saccharomyces is given. Plasmodium, action number 2, Saccharomyces is given and action number 4, what is given? Plantopunus is given. Plantopunus. So here, beta 10 is a, there is a thought action streptococcus was given. Action 1, plasmodium. Action 2, saccharomyces. Action 4, plantomonas. Action 3, streptococcus. But which has this here? Well, membrane bound cell organelle accent in where? Prokaryote. For prokaryote, what are the examples? Streptococcus. Many bacteria, whatever the bacteria is example for prokaryote. Streptococcus is one of the bacteria. So here, what is the answer? Streptococcus is the answer. Question number 10, 3 is streptococcus. Correct. Why? This is a bacteria. Comes under prokaryotic category. Prokaryotes don't have the membrane bound cell argument. So that answer is the question number 10, 3 answer. And 11, single cell eukaryotes included in. Here, single cell eukaryotes, how they can be called? It should be eukaryote having single cell. Single cell eukaryotes, how they can be called? Protista. 
तो प्रोटिस्टा ऑप्शन वेरी इट इज दे ऑप्शन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 तो वो आंसर प्रोटिस्टा सिंगल सेल प्रोकैरियोट्स आर मोनिरा सिंगल सेल यूकैरियोट्स आर प्रोटिस्टा प्रोटिस्टेंट्स इंक्लूड्स व्हाट आर प्रेजेंट इन प्रोटिस्टेंट्स ट्राइसोफाइट डाइनोफ्लैजलेट यूक्लिनाइट स्लाइम मोल्ड्स प्रोटोजोआन्स दिस फाइव कम्स अंडर प्रोटिस्टेंट्स ओनली मोनिरेंट्स व्हाट विल कम्स हियर बैक्टीरिया आर्की बैक्टीरिया साइनोबैक्टीरिया माइकोप्लाज्मा कम्स अंडर मोनिरेंट्स ओनली सो आंसर दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 Two answer. Question number twelve. Question number twelve. What is the question number twelve? Some air hypothermophilic organism that grow in highly acidic habitat belong to the group. They are liverworts and is generally thermophilophiles. You may question question number twelve. Thermophilophiles. थर्मोस्टोफाइल्स But here the question, what is this question? What are the example for thermoisotopile bacteria? Example for thermoisotopile bacteria. Example. Bacteria means what is the bacteria? That may be U bacteria or R T bacteria. Mostly R T bacteria is living. Some cases some bacteria is also living. Mostly R T bacteria is living. But in the given action, bacteria action very few be there. You see here bacteria action only second action. That is a U bacteria, na R T bacteria, na whatever bacteria is capable to tolerate it high temperature and acidic pH. But here in this category, where it will be there action two. So the given question is thermoisotopile. Thermoisotopile means the organisms which are surviving at high temperature and acidic pH. Those can be called thermoisotopile. But the thermoisotopiles comes under which organism? Bacteria. Bacteria may be U bacteria or R T bacteria. They are surviving at this year. Thermoisotopic features. So answer question number two L. What is the answer? Two is the answer. Thermoisotopic. And select the correct combination of the statement. We need to find out correct statement. What is the question number thirteen? Question number thirteen. What is the thirteenth question? This thirteenth question. Find out the correct statement. We can find the correct statement. What we can find here? We will find the correct statement from the given actions here. So, what is this? Uh, methanogens are archaea bacteria which produce methane in marshy areas. Correct? Uh, methanogens can produce the here first action methanogens. Methanogens what they can produce methane. Where they are present? Present in marshy areas. Here, this is correct. Methanogens they can produce methane. These methanogens present in marshy area. This statement correct or wrong? Statement one correct. Yeah. Statement two. Statement two. You see, now start with the filamentous blue green algae which fix atmospheric nitrogen. This question eleven with the now start. Now start. This is the filamentous algae. Okay. Having a ecosystem so that it can take the atmospheric nitrogen. This atmospheric nitrogen is converted into ammonia. That is called nitrogen fixation. These filamentous blue-green algae are cyanobacteria. It will capture atmospheric nitrogen, convert it into ammonia. That means nitrogen fixation. Last of all, involvement in nitrogen fixation. Correct or wrong? Is statement two correct? Statement three. What is the statement? So you write this is A statement correct, B statement correct, statement C. Statement C. What is the statement? Hemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria synthesize cellulose from glucose. Hemosynthetic autotrophs. Hemotrophs. Simply, this is called hemoautotrophs. Here, yeah. hemotrophs are hemosynthetic bacteria. They can synthesize. What they can synthesize here? Cellulose. They can synthesize cellulose. From where they are synthesizing? Glucose. Here yeah. you see, in bacteria, cellulose is present on no sides. Cellulose where it is present? Plants. Hemosynthetic bacteria can synthesize cellulose. Correct or wrong? Why? No need of cellulose for bacteria. Cellulose where it is present, plant cell or bacteria cellulose. So that what is here? Wrong statement. 
but a b correct c wrong next we go for this statement mycoplasma like cell wall and can survive without oxygen this uh, this statement relevant with the mycoplasma this mycoplasma what they have given as mycoplasma character no cell wall here there is no cell wall to mycoplasma but they have what they have given anio what is the anio it can survive without oxygen this statement correct or wrong is yes, it is a correct statement so a correct b correct d correct wrong is what is the c so how many statements are correct three statements correct a b d but a b d option where it is there option 4 a b d correct so answer what is this here option 4 question number 13 option 4 correct a b d statements correct i now you go for what is the statement here question number 14 Question number fourteen: Thermococcus, methanococcus, and methanobacteria exemplify. Here, thermococcus, methanococcus, and next one, methanobacteria exemplify. They are the archaebacteria. Here, these given statements are archaebacteria. Okay. Option one: archaebacteria, contain protein homologous to you uh, eukaryotic organisms. That means histone. What is the major difference between this here? Uh, Uh, DNA of the eukaryotes and prokaryotes in eukaryotic DNA histone proteins are this eukaryotic DNA it is enclosed by the histone protein but prokaryotic DNA there is no histones non histones are there histones means it is a protein enriched with the lysine and arginine basic amino acids if the proteins are made with the basic amino acid enriched basic amino acid means lysine arginine in the protein chain lysine arginine are enriched those proteins can be called as the basic amino acid and these basic enriched proteins can be called histones histones where they are present eukaryotes histones where they are present here prokaryotes histones absent in prokaryotes histones present in eukaryotes this is major difference so you see what is this here question number uh, 14 option one archaea bacteria correct only but they have histones are given wrong here option 2 here option one bacteria contain cytoskeleton and ribosomes cytoskeleton not correct option one what would be there ribosomes are there but no cytoskeleton microtubule filaments microfilament intermediate filaments cytoskeleton is not there in the bacteria ribosomes are there option one wrong option two archaea bacteria given correct only but what is the wrong here histones are given so second option wrong third option archaea bacteria given correct only These evo methanococcus methanogenesis these bacteria are comes under archaea bacteria correct only option three archaea bacteria but they don't have histones homologous to histones like that homologous proteins are there so that what is this option three correct option four bacteria whose DNA is reacts are positively what would be there positively super coiled but which have cytoskeleton as well as mitochondria mitochondria cytoskeleton never occurs in prokaryotes. So what is the case here? The given uh, things. What are the things here? These are the thermococcus, methanococcus, methanogenic bacteria. Thermococcus, methanogenic, methanococcus. These are the archaea bacteria. They don't have histone. Which option it is there? Option three is the correct one. So question number fourteen, three option is correct. Fifteenth one, you see, cellulose is the major component of cell wall. Cellulose where it is present? Plants. But in given action, which is plant? Saccharomyces is a plant? No, fungi. Pithecia is a plant? Yes. Xanthomonas is a bacteria. Pseudomonas is a bacteria. So you see, what is the question is given? Cellulose is major component of cell wall. Where it is cellulose major component plant? Which of the action site is a plant? Pithecia is a plant. Remaining bacteria. Pithecia where it will be there? Action two. So fifteenth question. Action two is the correct one. Question number fifteen. Action two. Now you come to the sixteenth question. In the light of recent classification of living organism in, into three domain of life: bacteria, archaea, eukarya. Which of the following is true about the archaea? You see this here six kingdoms, but domains are three domains. Here, yeah, what is this here? This bacteria it can be divided into eukarya, archaea. Remaining is the archaea bacteria, new bacteria. Next one eukarya, like the three domain system. Plants, protista, all are comes under eukarya. 
but these prokaryotes are divided into rp bacteria u bacteria so rp u bacteria next one eukarya three domain system is there in three domain system what would be there here uh, what is the correct statement relevant to the three domain rp completely differ from prokaryotes completely differ from prokaryotes not here rp some have rp bacteria they have some prokaryotic character some eukaryotic character RK resemble eukarya in all respects, not all, some. RK have some novel features that are absent in other prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Yes. RK, this is sharing the characters with eukarya as well as eubacteria. Both in, in intermediate between this uh, eukarya and eubacteria, RK is there. But having novel features, these novel features not present in bacteria as well as eukarya. So that what is the answer? Third one is the answer. Completely differ from both prokarya, not completely different. It can share some character from eukarya, some character from prokarya, not completely different. So some novel features are there, those would not trace out in prokarya and eukarya. Therefore, what is the answer? 16 to one is the three answer. Question number 17. Which of the following statement about mycoplasma is wrong? Mycoplasma means prokaryote. They cause disease in plants, yes. Here, they are also called as pleuronemonia like organism, yes. And they are pleomorphic, yes. They can change their shape, structure, pleomorphic. And they are sensitive to penicillin, they are not sensitive to penicillin. Resistance is there. They have this antibiotic resistance, not sensitive to penicillin. So that here, which of the following statement, mycoplasma wrong, sensitive to penicillin is wrong. So 70 is what it is here, 4 action, 4 is the correct one. Question number 88. Which pair of the following belongs to Basidiomyces? Here, Markella, mushrooms, botanist, fungi, puffball, puffball, claviceps, Ezeiza, stink heart. Then, uh, what is this here? Uh, accordingly, you see this is botanist, fungi, and puffballs comes under Basidiomyces. Here, mushrooms, mushrooms comes under Basidiomyces, Markella, Ascomyces, puffballs, Basidiomyces, claviceps, Ascomyces. Pesida, Basidiomyces, Stinkhorn, Ascomyces. In all options, one Basidiomyces, one is Ascomyces is given. Only one option, same is given. What is the same here? The pale, botanist, fungi, puffball comes under Basidiomyces. Where it is there? Question number 18, it would be 2. And arthrospores are mosses. Arthrospores are, these are the sexual spores in trisophytes or diatoms. And arthrospores are cyanobacteria. Armosis to present in cyanobacteria, oxospores present in diatoms. So, oxospores and armosis are formed respectively. Several diatoms produce oxospores, as well as few cyanobacteria produce armosis. So, answer what is this question number 19? One is the answer. And now you see uh, all of the following statements concerning the correct, concerning actinomyces filament, soil bacteria, frankia are correct except the frankia. You see this question, question number 20 is Frankia. This is a Frankia bacteria. What is a Frankia? Frankia is a bacteria. This is association with the non legumes plants, can fix the atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. You see, like a legume plant. In legume plant, what is living? Rhizobium. Rhizobium, what it is doing? It can capture the atmospheric nitrogen, convert into ammonia. That can be called as the nitrogen fixation. Like a rhizobium, Frankia is also involved in nitrogen fixation. But with whom, which plants it is symbiosis? non legumes So here, these above statements relevant with this here, Frankia. But which of these correct here? You can find out the, all of the following statement concerning filamentous soil bacteria, Frankia. Correct. Except that you need a wrong statement. Relevant with the Frankia, here wrong statement. Here can induce root nodule on many plant species, yes. Like a rhizobium, it also induces root nodule formation in many plants. Can fix nitrogen in free living state? Both cases here. It can fix nitrogen in free living as well as symbiosis. And uh, just one minute here. Rhizobium in fact is just a minute. Right, right. Can induce the root nodule on many plant species? Absent 20%. One is the yeah, root nodule formation is there. But here, you not use non-legumes. With non-legumes. Action 2, you see, 
it is uh, forming root nodule and the root nodule branch is there. This branch can capture the nitrogen, convert into ammonia. So this is symbiosis. But that means here, from atmosphere, branchia bacteria take nitrogen, convert to ammonia, such ammonia supply to plant. In turn, plant can supply food to the bacteria. So this mode we will be called symbiosis mode. Question number R2, once you see, they have given, free, can fix nitrogen in a free living state. It cannot free living state, symbiosis state. Here, branchia can fix nitrogen in what form here? Symbiosis state, not in free living state. So what is the incorrect one? Second incorrect one. Like rhizobium, it infects the host plant through root hair. Simulate the root proliferation in the host cortex. That means here to form root nodule formation, it induces the particle cell. With results, what would be the a nodule has been formed. Branchia, rhizobium, similar things. But rhizobium fix nitrogen in legumes. But branchia fix nitrogen in non-legume plants. But the example for non-legume, I'll explain. So the 28th one, they have given, what is given? Free living state also, it fixed nitrogen, wrong one. And fourth one, form specialized vesicle in which nitrogen is protected from oxygen by chemical barrier involving here uh, triterpenoid harponides. Here this is harponide, triterpene, this is mechanism generally, nitrogen fixation mechanism. In this mechanism, one enzyme is needed, nitrogen is to protect this nitrogen, several chemicals are released. They are acting as a barrier, protect the enzyme, involving in convert the nitrogen into ammonia. That is a nitrogen fixation. What is the wrong one? It never fix in free living state. But what mode it can fix? Symbiosis mode. So question number 20, what would be this year wrong one here? Can fix nitrogen in the free living state? Question number 20 is the 2. So answer is that. Question number 20, this is a 2. So answer here you check. 1 is 1, 2 is 1, 3 is 2, 4 is 1, 5 3, 6 4, 7 2, 8 3, 9 1, 10 3, 11 2, 12 2, 13 4, and 14 3, 15 2, 16 3, 17 4, 18 2, 19 1, 22. These are the, what is this here? Uh, uh, biological classification need to solutions, cycle test 5. In next examination, cycle test 6, it will be conducted on third issue. Okay, thank you. Thank you, one and all. If you have any doubt here, you can send messages to my WhatsApp. See clarification.